Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another informed play review with me, Boy FIFA One HD, where we're going to be taking a look at the 84 rated second inform Aaron Moy card. Now, before we do, as always, if you do enjoy the play review, as always, if you could hit the like button, that would really help me out. And also, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button too. And if I can help you guys out in any way, if you've got questions about Aaron Moy, is he worth it, is he not, or just questions about FIFA 18 in general, then ask away in the comments below, as I'll be happy to answer each and every one of you. So, you've seen the team that I played him in, and now you can see the attribute details for this card and oh my god is it incredible I mean the only stat that isn't in the green is his heading accuracy and I can live with that because all oh my days is the rest of the card so near perfect it's so good in so many ways and for a central midfielder that is incredible his acceleration and sprint speed for where you'll be playing him is incredible attack positioning finishing and shot power and long shots so so good this guy can score some great goals his passing is also so accurate great vision lovely crossing really good short and long range passing his dribbling is also very accurate too agility and balance not too shabby but where he really shines is definitely with that ball control and his dribbling as well as his composure his defending is pretty decent you know makes some good interceptions as you can see in his stand tackle is very neat and tidy and what I really love about the card is that he's got great stamina really solid strength and some brilliant aggression that makes him just the perfect centre mid for me so with that being said let's get into the main block of the review so my thoughts on the 84 rated second in four Moy card were that he incredibly impressed me I thought this card was absolutely fantastic. Now, I really enjoyed his first inform. It was pretty cheap and really overpowered and a great solid inform midfielder. This one definitely takes things to that higher level. He feels a lot more refined. His passing especially feels like a De Bruyne style at times. Some of the passes that this guy can play are just unreal. And his attack positioning and general shooting stats overall are just incredible so good in fact that many top rated strikers would be jealous of those stats his attack positioning for a midfielder is second to none very very good it means he makes some incredible last minute runs into the box always finds space and even if he is closed down he's got really good dribbling and I loved his dribbling even though he doesn't have crazy agility and balance he still managed to weave his way in and out create that yard of space go past a man and get his shot away and he really can score from anywhere any type of goals whether it's a lovely one-on-one -on -one finish a curled shot into the top corner or just a blast from distance this guy will put the ball in the back of the net or he will find someone on your team who can with his incredible range of passing I loved his pace it was perfect for using him in central midfield that is where I played him I think he will do a job at cam central midfield and CDM so no matter where you're thinking about playing him along the midfield, he will do you a very, very good job and he will slot in well. Now, yes, he doesn't have the best nation in the world to link up with hybrids, but you should have no trouble getting him into a standard Premier League team as I did. And for me, he was really, really good and he will be staying in my team for a long time, I assure you. Just because of how well-rounded this card is, his dribbling is on point, shooting is absolutely excellent, his passing is delightful and like I said, he can find people with some incredible passes. Even when you don't really spot the runs, he will find them and he will play them in so they almost can't miss. What I love about him as well is that he also has that defensive side. He's not just an attacking player. He has that defensive side to his game where he can make some really great interceptions, very solid stand tackles. He's got great strength and aggression and really good stamina to carry himself all over the pitch. So he can do that side of the job too, do all the dirty work. So if you are playing him in the midfield at centre mid, that is definitely where this card will shine because you will find him all over the pitch and everywhere he finds himself, whether he's with the ball or without it, he will be an effective player for your team, making him perfect for use in seasons, weekend league, and in squad battles. This card is just a mainstay for your team. He may not have the highest rating in the world, and for that reason, he will go under the radar slightly because he's not the most talked about player in the world. You know, he hasn't got the star power of maybe a De Bruyne like we mentioned earlier, but this card is absolutely phenomenal and it should not be overlooked. He's not the cheapest in the world, let's be honest. At the moment, he's floating around the sort of 80 to 85k, but 
what bang you get for your buck he is absolutely immense and i can't stress to you how much i enjoyed this card that is why i've had to give him a 9 out of 10 because yes his heading accuracy could be a little bit higher and maybe some of the stats could be a touch better but overall for a great well-rounded card from the premier league this guy is right up there for me and I really, really enjoyed using him and I'm sure you guys will too. So let me know in the comments below if you do end up getting this second informed boy card and how he gets on for you as I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think. Slap the hell out of that like button, hit the subscribe and peace.